Hello and welcome to the Syscard video tutorials. My name is Sergey and today we are going to speak about product tabs. Usually product tabs can be found at the bottom of a page. Here. The product tabs contain the additional information about the product, for example its description, reviews and uh, required products. I'll be speaking about this tab a little bit later. Now let's go to the admin panel. The tabs can be found at Design, Product Tabs. Here on this page you can see the most common tabs like Description, Features, Attachments, Tags and so on. Tabs help to organize the big quantities of information on the products page. But first of all I would like to show you how to disable the tabs. For this we need to go to Settings appearance. Here we need to find the setting called display product details in tabs. Here it is. And then just disable it. Don't forget to save your changes and uh, after that your page will look like this. Yeah, description, reviews and required products all in one column. One by one. Well, sometimes it works fine, but in other cases the page uh, might look messy. So I recommend you to use the tabs whenever and wherever it's possible. On this page you can activate or disable the product tabs for all the products in the store. You can also add tabs and to change the order of the tabs you just drag and drop it. By the way, there are two types of tabs in Syscard. The first one is the default tabs like description and features. And the second one is the add-on tabs like required products that I told you before. Now let's take a look at the product tabs of the certain products. For this we need to go to products, products. As an example I'm going to use a camera. Here we go. And this is the tab we need, product tabs. We cannot edit them here, we cannot move them around, we can only activate or deactivate them. That will be enough. Uh, for example, I want to deactivate the reviews for this product. Just don't forget to save the changes. Now let's go to the bottom of the page and refresh it. Okay, now the Reviews tab has disappeared and only description and required products is left. Maybe here some reviews. Okay. Yes, there you go. As you can see, on this page we have reviews for this TV. The reviews tab was deactivated locally for the camera only. Now I would like to show you how to create the new tab. Okay, I'm gonna call it Brand History and show this tab in a pop up window. Well, I will demonstrate it. Select block. Well, uh, I'm going to use just the text, so I'll stick to the simple HTML block, but uh, except text you can also uh, include products just use the products block okay HTML block yes the H okay HTML block content test yes okay create create done now this brand history block uh, will be displayed for all the products I don't want this, I want uh, to use this box specifically for, for one product, so I disable it and then I go to the camera page. There it is. Yeah, for now the block is disabled, that's not important. Okay, yes, I can change the content. That's what the most useful thing about this. And now I will paste the history of the Nikon brand. Save. 
and activate it. Don't forget to save the changes. Here we are, move to button and refresh the page. Nice, there you go. The reviews has returned, but what is even more important, we have the pop-up brand history tab. We click it and that's how it appears. If you disable the pop-up, the brand history will become just like the other tabs. With the tabs you can add not just the text, but the products. OK, add, accessories. For this you will need the products block. OK, I'm gonna call it ah, AC accessories, content, add product. Yes, I'm going to use the lens as an accessory for the camera. Done. Box settings, uh, it's not important. Create. OK, there it is. I'm going to deactivate it for all the products and uh, just change the settings of the camera. Here we go. Activate. Save the changes. And now back to products page. Now let's see the result. Yes. Here comes the tab. Accessories. Lens. So you can make specific accessories for the specific products with the tabs. It's up to you. This was the last video in design series of CSCART. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCART video tutorials.